Hi, in this problem we're going to do an example of finding the derivative of a function using the definition. And I picked an easy one on purpose because recall that the derivative of a function is its slope. And so in this case, the slope of this function is two, right? Because this is mx plus b, so m is two. So if we're gonna find the derivative of this function, we should get two as an answer. Let's go ahead and do it um, the long way. So recall that the derivative of a function at x is given by the following formula. It's the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And this is basically the slope of the secant line connecting the points x and x plus h. If you know the derivation, um, you'll remember where this comes from, but very, very powerful very very powerful stuff so here all we have to do is replace um, all of this with what we have in our problem so this is the limit as h approaches zero so f of x plus h basically means we replace all of the x's with x plus h's so instead of 2x plus 3 it will be two parentheses x plus h plus 3 like that then minus and then parentheses f of x, so 2x plus 3. And all of this is being divided by h, just like that. Okay, so now let's keep going. This is the limit as h approaches 0. So it looks like we can do some simplification here. Um, we can distribute this 2. So 2 times x is 2x, okay. And then 2 times h is going to give us 2h. Okay, then we have a plus 3. So far, so good. There's really uh, an implied 1 here, by the way, right? It's really a minus 1. It's really being multiplied. So this is negative 1 times 2x. So it's negative 2x. And this is negative 1 times positive 3. So that's minus 3. And all of this is being divided by h. Yeah, looks good so far. It's always good to be careful. Um, it's really easy to mess up. You know, take your time. This is the limit as h approaches zero. Uh, okay, so these cancel. That's really good. And these cancel. That's really cool. So this is 2h over h. Oh, that's that's perfect because you see at the beginning we 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 would have plugged in uh, zero for h, but you can't do that, right? You can't have zero on the bottom. So the goal is you kind of clean it up and hopefully get to a place where um, you can you know take the limit. So this goes away, so we get the limit as h approaches zero of two, and two is two, right? Because h is approaching zero, but you know that means it has nothing to do with the two. This is independent of h. So it's just going to be uh, equal to two. And that would be the derivative. And we would write that as follows. This is f prime of x uh, equals two. That's how you would write the answer. So um, kind of a fun problem to show that the calculus uh, version of slope, which is the derivative, is the same as the you know algebra version of slope, which is restricted to straight lines. You know, y equals mx plus b. We say that m is the slope. So. Yeah, kind of fun. I hope this video has helped someone out there in some way. Good luck.